three times a month, Father Alexandre Merard heads up this stairwell, suits up, and heads to this spot above the sacristy. So the smoke is a sign of danger for them. A friend gave him some of this beekeeper equipment years ago, but he put it in storage until he joined this church in 2019. I say, oh yeah, maybe I, 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 I can start that now. So, but uh, no, I never had the idea before. I never done that before. Just to see all this kind of, you know, cloud of bees coming out and, and flying around you, yeah, that, that's impressive. The bees are currently foraging for nectar and building up their colony for winter. In August, the fruits of his labor will pay off with sweet honey like this. And then they cap with wax that cell with the honey to protect it from uh, any fermentation and any other uh, impurities. Father Merard doesn't keep it all to himself. Maybe we have the chance to see the queen. He learned about the demand for raw honey and sells little jars to benefit a Brooklyn-based nonprofit, Consolatio, a mission organization. They don't work, they don't have any subvention, they don't receive any support from uh, local authorities or from the church there, so they have to find a way to support their mission. So I, I participate to that with, with the sale of the honey. He says it's a way for him to unwind when he's not celebrating Mass, but it also helped in his role as a priest. I like the fact that uh, it also allows me to connect with, with, uh, with parishioners and other people because I sell the honey or uh, because people know that I have these bees, so their children want to know about it. Mirard will let the queen bee and her workers continue their labor until his next visit. In Cobble Hill, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.